and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. I'm, I've just had my roots done and I'm looking in my viewfinder and I can't quite believe how bloody blonde I am. Look how blonde I am. Very pleased with it. My hairdresser, she does a fantastic job every time she does it. I, I don't know how she manages to get my hair looking so damn good. Today is a lovely chat video. Lovely chat videos are where I have a lovely chat with you. If you haven't joined in for one of these, joined in. If you haven't seen one of these before, it's just a, a chance for me just to have a chat about things. Some things bookish, some things not bookish. Just remembered one of the things I'm going to be chatting about is candles, and I haven't collated my candles. Would you bear with me one moment? Back with the candles. So I'll talk about the candles first. So I mentioned candles in my favourites video from the month of August, um, and the two candles that I mentioned in particular were this pu pumpkin chestnut one with a wood wick. Um, wick so that when it burns it, it sounds like a crackling in fire um that's pumpkin chestnut and then this pumpkin and amber woods scented candle which is a lovely little log top log top wooden top um they're both from tk maxx which i have quickly discovered is the best bloody place in the world to buy uh, to buy candles i've since been back these little ones these are 2.99 this again has got one of those wooden uh, wicks um this is a uh, dw uh, wander onwards pumpkin bourbon David picked that. Oh, God, that is good. Uh, and then this other one is also by DW Home. This is the range that they do in... Um in TK Maxx and they're all these big ones are $5.99 and these little ones are $2.99 bargain and this is a black currant pumpkin one. Oh, this is luxurious very very luxurious and while I was in there I saw that they do quite a big range of these so like they do a lot of different like spins on pumpkin so vanilla pumpkin espresso pumpkin just lots of different things with pumpkin and look it just looks lovely the actual candle itself is purple oh just beautiful I'm about to put this one is in the office so when I'm editing this smell reminds me of editing I like it when a smell reminds you of something Thing. I used to have this horrible, horrible lip gloss when I was in year eight or something. Year eight, maybe year seven, year seven or eight, like 12 or 13. And it had a little devil, like, you know, when devils were cool, um, on the front of it. And it was like pink and purple swirled. I think the, the range was called like Secret Weapon or something. It was the thickest thing. It basically, like, you put it on, it just stayed there. And it smelt so so sweet and I remember I found it about 10 years um, after I'd, I'd been using it and, and it just brought me straight back to uh, class 8 centre when I was in 8 centre when I was in year 8 when I was 13 um, so yeah anyway that's about the candles uh, what else are we talking about today so at the moment I am in the midst of um, filming my E is for exercise video so um, I do an alphabet series where I talk about um, issues that, are, um, that I've experienced in or that I've got interest in um, and um, I've worked my way through the alphabet and we're actually at E now um, and that video is E is for exercise and I am completing a day of exercise every day in the month of September. Um, today is day 12. Now disclaimer, I've missed a day. I had such bad period pains this month. Now I know I'm always moaning on about period pains and I feel like whenever I go to work and I'm like oh I'm having my tummy they're like oh god is it that bloody time again or I put it on Twitter oh I've got period pains but that's how bad my bloody period pains are guys and this month I, I had every every plan to do a bit of yoga but I was just in agony and to be honest I'm still not that great now I've got I'm really really gripey in my tummy today um and yeah it's just getting so bad this bloody period pain so I've missed a day's worth now I am going to tag a day on the other end um so that I make up for it but yeah apart from apart from uh, apart from missing a day it's been going really well David and I had a dance lesson at the weekend um, for a ballroom and Latin. So we did a bit of tango, which you have to hold yourself a bit like this. That hand, that's, imagine this, this is, that's David's shoulder. I've got that on there. Um, and then there's a lot of this for the woman. Um, really loved the tango. And we also did cha-cha-cha. We both enjoyed cha-cha-cha. Well, actually, I'm not even sure David enjoyed cha-cha-cha. I really enjoyed cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha, um, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. Um, but... Tango, we both bloody loved. Now it is hard. It's really, really hard. And we, I don't know if we're going to remember the steps when we go back, but we are going back. We enjoyed it so much. We've booked ourselves another lesson because we just left there with such a smile on our faces that we were like learning a new skill or having a bit of exercise and doing it together. Um, we just both loved it so much. So we're definitely going back. We're going to go back next week and we're going to, we're not going to do it weekly because we're not always going to be free every weekend and the dance teacher isn't free every weekend, but we're going to try and slot it in as and where we can do it. Um, and yeah, we just both bloody, bloody loved it. Um, and it was also nice that it had been the night before um the, the night before it had been the strictly launch show so we were so i watched that and then we went to that the next day so yeah that was really really fun and lovely so that's something that we're going to continue to do but apart from that energy i feel like i'm sleeping much better i'm going to continue power through go on mini off you go um and see how it goes but yeah I'm, I'm very pleased with my progress so far i'm really proud of myself for, for doing that much this is the most i've ever exercised in my life ever so imagine i've got to do double this and a bit more 
Wow. Uh, what else am I talking about? So on, on Monday, I met Nadia Hussain from the Bake Off, which was amazing news. Um, so I was in London. Simon had kindly asked me to go along as his plus one to a um, an event run by the publisher's headline where they were um, showcasing what books they've got coming out in 2019. And one of the books that's coming out in 2019 is a non-fiction book by Nadia, which sounds absolutely amazing. Um, it is a memoir told um, from her perspective obviously talking about the different roles that she's played in her life so um the role of a mother of a wife of a daughter-in-law of a baker of a tv presenter of a twitter handle um and her talking about her book was amazing and like uh, beside myself about reading that it's not out until october 2019 hasn't even got a title yet she'd literally been writing it all day and come straight from home where she'd been writing it all day um to talk about it and afterwards i um i got the opportunity to to meet her and to chat with her and to have my phone photo taken with her and she was just so lovely I was a bit nervous she came over and she said how are you and I just said yeah <laughs> I just said yeah and then we were talking about her writing the book and we were talking about um, how she bakes every day she bakes every day to de-stress even I said even when it's like sweltering hot and unbearable she said yep yeah. every single day she said her oven is always on um which is amazing and then we were also I was saying telling her about how her acceptance speech uh when she won the Great British Bake Off is a mantra of my own she says um I, I I'm I'm never gonna say I can't I'm never gonna say maybe I can and I will and I often think to myself I feel emotional just saying it because I often say I often say to myself like I can and I will <laughs> um, and she was just lovely she was just so so like it just felt like you'd known her forever she was just chatting and just adorable so yeah it was really really lovely I'm just watching Minnie try and go on Minnie you can do it jump from the poof to the chat oh don't eat that plant though Minnie is she gonna eat the plant She's actually getting in the plant. Hold on. You haven't said hello in ages, have you? We're good. You're a good girl. She's been very, very cute. Oh, nasty paw. She's got this one white whisker. I don't know if you can see it. Can we see it? She's got one white whisker on her at the moment and it's independent of the rest of her. It's like growing inwards and it's very like expressive on her face, which is very nice. Um, so yeah, that was very exciting. So that's a bookish thing I've done this week. Bookish things I'm doing next week. I'm going to the launch of Franklin and Luna Go to the Moon, which is Jen Campbell's um, second children's book uh, with illustrations by Katie Harnett. Uh, we went to the launch last year, David and I, and we both had a lovely, lovely time. And we're going again this year, so that'll be very, very nice to see some bookish pals and to launch... Luna and Franklin into the stratosphere um so yes very very excited about that and actually we David and I haven't read that yet because we've been waiting for a moment when we're both in and um both cozy and comfy and I feel like this weekend might be that time oh yeah I think I will read that um I'm also seeing Mercedes soon, which is very exciting. I am going on um, holiday. David and I are going on holiday to Norfolk um, in a few weeks' time. We are so excited. Um, it's David's birthday while we're there as well, which will be lovely. Um, and we've got some nice walks planned, and I've got a few big things planned for his birthday. And on the way there, we're going to stay at Mercedes um, one night when we're on the way there, which will be really, really lovely. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing her very, very much. And yeah, hopefully I'll get a chance. I'm hoping to film a lit chat with her. I haven't even asked her about this. Hi, Mercedes, if you're watching, this do you want to film a lit chat um to film a lit chat because i haven't done one of those in a long long time and um i'm sure she'll have some opinions and thoughts i'm sure she will um so yeah that that's it that's it in terms of lovely chat i can close my book now close my book that's it in terms of lovely chat what i'm doing now this afternoon um i'm about to go and edit this video so we can go up on friday happy friday everybody and then i've printed this off it's an autumn bucket list um with a uh, with lots of sections of, of things to um to do in autumn um and i'm gonna go and fill this out and then i'm gonna film a video about it which will hopefully be up on sunday yeah i think this will be up on sunday um talking through the things that david and i are, well mainly me are going to be doing in autumn which i'm very very excited about i've got these i've i've um i've signed up to the blog um, a beautiful mess which is a very well known blog i'm sure if you are particularly if you're american you will uh, know about that but yeah so i'm looking forward to filling that in and, and, and thinking of some autumnal things that i want to do so that is it from me today i hope you're all well and as i said i will as i said and i'll see you all again soon for another booktube video goodbye